What's up, YouTube? This is the Billy Bob HD bringing you another Let's Play. Today I've got some EU4 going, Conquest of Paradise. Let's go ahead and unpause it here. So, last episode we were colonizing here in Southern California. Just kind of finishing that province out there. And. Yeah, I only have one colonist, so. I'm going to move this force back up to the north just to help out with any potential um, revolts. Last episode, Portugal also made it to the New World. They're expanding pretty rapidly. New Portugal over here. Wow, we're losing money. Advisors maintenance, army maintenance. We do have a lot of colonial maintenance at two gold per month. So, should I try to make friends with the Portuguese? It looks like I already did. Plus 94 improved relations. Sorry guys, some of the audio is a little weird. I don't know if you guys picked up on that. Okay, relations with Portugal at 100. So, Choctaw tribe. Choctaw tribe here um, is pretty much the biggest tribe on the East Coast, looks like. Yeah. So, I'm hoping they'll at least be a challenge, somewhat of a challenge, especially if they start to westernize. When a European power becomes like adjacent to your territories, it gives you the ability to westernize. Pretty sure. But you have to be directly next to them. Where is my westernize? Maybe I can't. Oh well. Which would make sense, since I can't... Uh, Okay. New colony. Good to go right there. We're going to move north. Move that army up there. I'm going to move this army into a more centralized location. So we're already building a colony, it looks like. Okay, let's see what else is going on. Looks like we had some migration up here. At the start of the game, the Ottawa tribe was actually down here and was now continental U.S. And look at this, guys. Pirate ships. Just hanging out. Off of California. Can I build a navy? I think I can. Early Carrick. That's a heavy ship. We'll build one, two, three heavies. Here I'm going to build a couple mediums. Oh, this is a light ship. It's a trade ship. Okay, I'll get a couple lights, three light ships, light warships, three heavies, three lights. I'm going to go take this uh, pirate navy out here. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Yeah, so you can see Choctaw already turning light red there, meaning shit's getting better for them. Sweet, we can tech up.
Let's look at these bonuses. Leader Shock plus one. Force Limit modifier. See, I don't really need any of this stuff at the moment. Better relations over time. We could use that. I think that's going to come really, really handy when I've got some more Europeans over here on my ass. Okay. Go ahead and bring those guys over. Hello. There we go. These settlers are moving right along. See, this is all wasteland up here, so I could just corner my territory off this way. Hopefully, six ships will do it. I don't know. losing money. It is because of that colonial maintenance. Huh. Now that I'm having adding a navy that's not helping either. What's my naval upkeep? A buck oh six. Wow. So what I might have to do is destroy this fleet here and then decommission these ships. That would really suck. See, I wonder... I don't know. I guess it doesn't allow us to... Um... Oh, look at this. We can reform the government. There's a reform the government button. Okay, we just lost an advisor, which brought us back up. Um, in terms of income. It is possible to reform away from a native council to a more advanced form of government if we have all the native advancements and border a European nation. Huh. Okay. So that changes my mind as far as... I want to take... I don't know. I guess I want to take... Um, focus off of this production here in, t in technology because I don't think it's really helping me right now. This is saying if I get all of these bonuses, all of them, that um, I can reform the government, but I have to have a westernized neighbor. So that's what I was talking about before. Um, Choctaw Tribe could go through that right now if they wished. Alright, let's take care of these pirates real quick. Real quick. Hit, hit. Here they go. They have an admiral. Looks like we're winning. Excellent. Alright, let's bring that navy home. I think I'm going to keep them just in case. So let's go ahead and just start uh, checking these off the list. So tax modifier would be nice. There's a first round there. Oh, we can go ahead and do another one. There we go. Lower the revolt risk. Hmm. 
See, I don't know, though, because these tribes are still working on um, traditional technologies, looks like. And by traditional, I mean the technology tab here. Huh. Oh. Big news. The British are here. The British landed Texas, everybody. So, the last couple games I've done, you know, British pick up most of Mexico as opposed to Spain. Smoke ceremonies. Yeah, we'll go for that. I'm down for a smoke ceremony if you catch my drift. Alright. Navajo tribe is kind of like our... Is, are they really a rival? I don't, well, yes they are. That's how they feel towards us. Negative 50 relations it looks like. Hmm. How about the Asaboyne? No, they hate us. Fox Tribe likes us. What else, guys? Shawnee Tribe is growing. Um... Cadu. Cadu. Cadu do. Okay. So now I'm a little confused as to what we should do. We could either go for all the native ideas. We might as well just do that. I don't have a ton ton of them left I don't know can my technology afford it though 544 see I'm sort of ahead I'll just have to keep an eye maybe balance it out balance that spending out so but for now we are going to try to develop these Okay. Look at that income after I get done colonizing something. Wonderful. On to the next territory. See, oh, I forgot we could uh, go north here. That would be cool. Up into Alaska. Might be next after I... Maybe like take that chunk or something. These territories are going to be... Well, I thought they were going to be more valuable. Probably these here. Just because... You know, you've got open plain versus... Well... Both are pretty far north, so the weather's going to be bad either way. Um, hmm. We need a shake-up? Oh, shit. Stability drop. You know, I've got a big enough army. I don't think I'm going to spend the points to bring that back up right now. We're just going to shove that into these uh, native ideas. I have an admiral. Pretty baller. So... Uh, Portugal also continues to expand here in Virginia, it looks like. These tribes have done nothing all campaign except just move up and down. They're just migrating. Oh, and we have France, everybody. Up here in Canada, of course. Newfoundland, I guess that is. Um... 
modern day US is going to be right through here. That would be interesting to have a uh, French New England, so to speak. <laughs> Oh, we could. Can we tear tar? Oh. We could actually... Yeah, we'll do that. We'll send a colonist here next. We'll take the force limit modifiers, sure. Yeah, so we'll take that one next and just connect our territory there, so. Even though it's not going to be a very valuable province. It's okay. I like to have things on the map look nice, if you know what I mean. Wow, that'd be cool if we could go this way. I don't know, that would be a humongous front to have to defend if, like, somebody attacked me from the east. That would be a huge line. I don't think I want to do that. Because that's where it's going to be coming from, right? Unless Spain just like randomly lands over here in Mexico. It's kind of what I'm prepping for, so is an invasion from this way. Alright, let's check this out. Almost there on the admin tech. Come on. Five, five, five. Let's see. I want to put some advisors back in. Oh, we can't take the prestige hit. No way. Alright, so take this army and crush those rebels blackfoot peasants okay what's the force limit now 33 it's pretty decent Okay. All right, guys. Well, thanks for stopping and watching. Um, this has been the Billy Bob HD again. And please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you've enjoyed this content. Stop back by because we've got more coming out soon. Thanks.